Ooh, I'm watching Cold Case Files. Yeah, I'm still, guys, I'm still on my iPhone recording right now. I have this beauty right here waiting. Hey, do I look? Do I look at Casey Neistat? See? To tell him to, hey, what's up? DSLR users. But I haven't learned to use it yet. And so I'm waiting. And I'm waiting on a copy of um, Adobe Premiere to get here. Just another piece of equipment to add to my arsenal of I don't know how to work it stuff. As you can see behind me, there's a masterpiece. Now, wait, 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 wait. Let me take that back. Van Gogh painted a masterpiece. I'm murdering his whole masterpiece. I decided I'm painting a young Mick Jagger next. Mm. And Blake Jameson, I'm going to kind of use you as inspiration for the Mick Jagger. Okay? Now, I'm not doing what you're doing. Like, I'm not going to stencil it and do it because you are amazing. You're the best stencil. You, what you do, you're the best at. And I have an, a clue how you do it. It's so amazing. But what I mean is the color scheme that you use, I think I'm going to try to add color in the background of my Mick Jagger painting to uh, dance it up a bit, you know? So we'll see how that goes. I just don't know. I think that here's the plan, y'all. The paintings that I'm going to do the portrait tribute stuff that I'm going to do of celebrities that have passed away. The celebrity will be painted in black and white and gray. Black and gray. Tributes to people who are still living, still here with us, will be in color. Okay. Now. If you guys don't know who Blake Jameson is, I've talked about him in a bunch of videos. I put links to his channels and his artwork in a bunch of videos. He is an amazing artist who does stencils. Um, but not, I mean, I'm not talking about just a two color stencil, you know, like a white background and he puts it in and then sprays it black and then there you go. No. Oh no. Very, very intricate very very detailed and very very cool and he doesn't just do the stencil of the individual it's the background gets stenciled and there's patterns in I mean it's just so amazing it's amazing his work and I'm truly inspired by this guy He's so awesome um, I just need to get to that level and I mean not to his of course to his level I'd love to have the amount of talent he has. But, you know guys, a lot of people it comes to naturally, and I have a little bit of that. A lot of people, like me, have to work at it, and practice, and watch videos, and learn technique, and be inspired, and see it in their brain, and have to put it out onto their canvas, whatever it may be. And I'm, I'm one of those people that has to work at it, you know. It does nothing come easy for me. Not even brushing my teeth. Speaking of what, I should go, probably go brush my te teeth. I just brought a new toothbrush. Hold on, let me. Where did I put my toothbrush at? That's chocolate. Here it is. Dun, dun, dun. Sorry. It's one of those ones that goes, it, it vibrates. I had a friend that I used to work with, a female. Her name started with an I and ended with an S. 
Her name was Isis. And she and I were having a conversation about dental hygiene and um, our techniques on dental hygiene. And we had this toothbrush in common, if you don't believe me, ask her. And uh, I said something about it, like, man, it really makes your teeth feel clean, like they feel like glass. And she goes, yeah, and when you brush your teeth in the shower, you can use it to get yourself off. Because it vibrates. I haven't done that, though. Sounds like a beast, though. Dang. I don't think I would do that. Okay. I don't know what to do. Um, I'm just going to keep painting on this thing until I can destroy it a little bit more. And then I'm going to eventually have to hand it off to my, my nephew and let him give it to the new owner. But it should have been done like two, three years ago. It's not because of lack of effort, I'll tell you that much. Not because of that. It's because I haven't been trying. Okay. No, I'm just joking. It's not that. Oh, wait. You know another really, really cool and uh, disposable palette you can use? Y'all have seen my other palettes. I like to use muffin pans. I don't have any of them around me right now because they're all dirty. Hence why I'm using what I'm using. But I also like to use, and this isn't what I'm talking about at the moment, these, they're little jello shot containers. But, you know, people put ketchup condiments and stuff in them. I like to use these, hello, because it keeps everything fresh. I'm telling you, man, I can mix up a certain tone of gray, and if I have enough of it in there, Put the cap on it, keep it up out of the heat, out of the sunlight, you know, whatever, you know, kind of keep it over here off into the corner, and it'll last forever. So awesome. This black is drier than my bean bag right now. But what I'm talking about is using your Lunchable trays, guys. Look, these are just some cheap little Lunchables we got from HEB, and they work perfectly for a disposable palette. Look, this one looks like I'm uh, painting a Thanksgiving turkey decoration, but I'm not. I painted the Alamo Dome and uh, the Tower of the AOK. Talking, a lot of talking. So, Lunchables, I'll put a link in the description in case you don't know what they are. And, um, Divide by two, link in the description. Blake Jameson, link in the description. And another guy. One more artist I want to tell you about. His name is Voka. V-O-K-A. I've, again, talked about Voka in the past. This uh, YouTube Voka. V-O-K-A. Artist Voka or artist Voka. He does what he calls... I forget what he calls it. But it's um, portraits and his color schemes and his technique are what really make them so badass. It's uh, sp spontaneity and realism. And he calls it spontan realism. That's what it's called. I'm not going to try to spell it across here because I will just murder it. But uh, Voca, his style. Man, if there was a way for me to combine Blake Jameson's style and Voca's style into in, my own, man, I'd be a force to be reckoned with on the underdog artist level of talent. You know what I'm talking about? See. Now I'll let you go. I've depressed myself. Not really. All right, I'm Max Dean. Thank you for watching. Hope I didn't bore you too much. Uh, Tower of the Americas. If, if you've never been to the top of the... Okay, I'm not going to get into a whole another 10 minutes of talking. Next video, Tower of the Americas.
Talk to you later.